guys ready for another egg cutting? Look at these beautiful pearly whites. That's right, there's one, two, three, four, five, six eggs, and they come from a pie to a pastel pie. Here are the parents. And this is the mama pie. She's about a seven year old pie. I've had her for a while now, and she's an absolute ripper for sure. And she was bred to this pastel pie, which is actually an incomplete dominant pastel, and then the recessive pie mutation. So everything is gonna be pied. So let's go ahead and just jump in and cut some eggs. And of course, because pied is a recessive mutation, that means everything in this clutch is gonna be pied, but because the male was a pastel pied, meaning there's an incomplete dominant pastel in there, there could be pastel pies and pies. But how cool is that? Every one of these six eggs is gonna be pied, but they're gonna be variable. So let's jump into egg number one and just see if we get a 10% white one, a 90% white one pastel, who knows, let's go. And here we go, first egg. Oh my God, it's so cool to be cutting eggs. Oh, this one seems like it's got a very low white like super low white, but it's really cool. And it happens to be a pastel pie too. And I actually sometimes like that really low white because the pattern and color is so incredible. You add the pastel to it and it just is an absolute popper. But I tell you, this looks like maybe like a 15 or 20 percenter. That is a low white pie. And like I said, I actually like the low white pies. The perfect ones for me are like 40 percent white, but this one's probably only like 50 percent. Let's jump into number two. You never know what you're gonna get when you're cutting pied eggs. Here we go, number two. And on the other spectrum, this one looks like it's got a pretty decent amount of white. I mean, it's hard to say another pastel pie, by the way, which is awesome, but it does look like it's maybe pretty mixed, you know, maybe 50-50, maybe 40%, something like that. Hard to say until it climbs on the egg, but nevertheless, that thing is awesome. Definitely cool. We still have four eggs to go. That means four beautiful little pies. So far, two pastels. Let's do egg number three. There we go. What do we have? Gosh, it's so exciting to be producing baby snakes again. And uh, again, this one looks like a little bit higher white pie now. The last one looked like 40%. This one looks like probably more like 60%, something like that. Again, I think this might be a pastel pie again. I think we've had three pastel pies, but this one looks like it's gonna be really, really beautiful. It's crazy to think about it, you know, that we're hatching pies like this. I could never imagine all those years ago that we would have pie to pie clutches just hatching like this. So absolutely incredible. And for those of you guys that ask, I'll tell you why I'm cutting eggs. Let's cut egg number four. And a lot of people say, you know, why do you cut eggs? You know, the truth is, is that it doesn't hurt if you cut them at the right time and you do it the right way. And sometimes you can actually find babies that will actually have like a twisting umbilicals or something like that, that you can save the animal's life. So it doesn't really hurt to cut the eggs. If you do it properly and it can only help. So that's right. So let's see what we got here. This one's actually flipped upside down. So it's hard to see what, how much white is on this one. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably a 40 or 50 percent white one right here. Can't see if it's pastel. This one actually looks like it's probably a normal, but it's hard to really say. Two more pies to cut. Let's jump into egg number five. And so I hope that explains why I cut the eggs. Not to mention, it's just fun. Come on. Seeing what's inside these eggs is absolutely amazing. Like this one right here. Okay, another kind of lower white one. This one's got a little bit more white than the first egg, but not a whole lot. So a lot of this clutch has been a little bit lower white. Well, no, there's some white popping out here. This one might actually be 30 or 40%. And this does look like a normal pie, probably not a pastel pie. Last egg, last pie, let's jump in. And here we go. Oh my God, I love cutting snake eggs and I love seeing what's inside them. And I'm gonna love seeing these guys crawl out of the eggs here another four or five days for sure. And uh, last pie. Again, looks like probably a pastel pie. Looks like probably 40, 50% the exact kind of pie that I really love. So there you go, guys. Six eggs, six pies. Looks like we got four pastel pies, two normal pies. We've got some low ones. We've got some high weight ones. Absolutely incredible clutch. When these guys hatch out, they're going to be amazing. And uh, hey, I think it's only a couple more days till our next clutch to cut. Oh, and welcome to the vlog, Reptile Army. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Speaking of Reptile Army, if you guys haven't joined the movement yet, please go to reptilearmy.com. Uh, you know, listen, we're just getting started and it's all about the movement. It's all about you becoming our foot soldiers and about us as a community educating the world about reptiles and turning them into reptile lovers like I do. That's why I get up every single day because I love it and I want you to be part of the army. So go to reptilearmy.com. You know, I have loved these mole snakes. Of course, this is the boy that has that more charcoal look to him that is absolutely amazing. But the thing that's exciting is about the female. And I mentioned the other day that it looked like she was getting awfully chunky, like maybe she is grabbing and has some babies in her. So I decided, what do you say we just go ultrasound and just see if we could see anything inside her? Oh my God, it's gonna be so exciting, let's do it. Now I've never ultrasounded a colubrid like this, so I'm really not sure what I'm gonna look for, but it's 
really hard to say. I, I, I mean, I can see, see right here, I can actually see these kind of big masses right there. Those look like babies, but I can't see, oh yeah, there's definitely a bunch of these in here for sure. So again, it's hard to see. The way this ultrasound works, it's really difficult to actually see like skeletal or anything like that. But there's no doubt that she either has babies in her or she has slugs, one or the other. Nevertheless, it looks like we are gonna get something from this girl, which is a huge accomplishment because again, I didn't know that I was even gonna breed them this year because so many of my friends said they're really difficult to breed and that most people don't have any success. Again, live young. So this girl, hopefully within the next, I don't know, month, two months, I have no idea how long it would be. Hopefully we'll open up the cage and they could have literally up to 50 babies sometimes even up to 75 I don't think she's at the size where she's gonna have 75 but hey even if we got a dozen or two dozen babies who doggy I would love it because they have certainly become one of my favorite colubrid snakes got another exciting clutch let me just tell you guys if there's a clutch that I pull this year that I say I'm not excited about you should definitely see if I get my head checked because I'm excited about every clutch but some clutches are just more exciting than others well, no, they're all exciting. The point is, this is actually a bumblebee, which is a pastel and a spider, and it's bred to a black pewter lesser cypress. Absolutely incredible animal. Mama, as always, they're not gonna be happy with me. That's just the way it is, you know? Mama, come on. Come on, baby girl. Let's go up, you go off the eggs. There you go. She came off pretty good, and it's got a beautiful clutch. I tell you what, I love it. And this black pewter lesser cypress last year actually didn't father even one egg. I bred it to like four females, and unfortunately backed it up with a male at the very end, and every one of the clutches turned out to be the other male. So this is the first time I've gotten good eggs from him, and he's actually already fathered two good clutches, and now this clutch, and that is just a lot of really cool potential animals. I mean, 57 days from now, when we're cutting this clutch, there's gonna be some bangers. It's gonna be exciting cannot wait two four six seven beautiful eggs hey i tell you what that's going to be amazing and with those combos who doggy little update on the bolens python here of course he's been living in this cage for the last three four weeks something like that doing really well probably looks better than it's looked since i've got it to be honest with you so it's settled in it goes up in the trees it goes down it's always moving around looks incredible the iridescence on this thing is insane but i did want to tell you that we finally came up with a name for it this was a tough one we went back and forth on a few different things but you know what this is that elite python right probably one of the coolest pythons and hardest to get pythons on the planet for sure at least in the top five so we decided to call it bugatti that's right bugatti the bolens python i think it fits perfectly because it's such a rare animal and so expensive as well and it just kind of looks sleek like a bugatti right so uh guys meet the bolens python bugatti in the kluberd room that can only mean one thing egg time and this is a banger right here this is actually a crimson scaleless female that has wrapped around a beautiful clutch of eggs and she was actually bred to a silver queen which is that ghost scaleless so these guys will all be scaleless all be hypo scales and some will actually be het for unless this girl is het for andry they'll be het for andry so that's pretty awesome i love scaleless clutches in the beginning we didn't know a female scaleless would lay four legs obviously all the female scaleless we have now are crushing it so we've got two four six eight nine beautiful eggs these babies are going to be amazing this next clutch is actually a oka tea corn snake let's take a look and see what she got oh she is so pretty she's got a beautiful clutch of eggs in here too and she was actually bred to a silver queen because she's het aneurythristic so basically what we're going to get is some andery oka teas some het for ghost oka teas stuff like that so this is a really nice clutch look at that looks like there's one little slugger in there mama why'd you give me one little slugger but we'll get the rest of the eggs out here oh, 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 oh here we go Again, this one little slugger right here will get mama back in her cage. Good job, mama. You did good. We'll get you cleaned up, get you some fresh water, all that stuff. She'll be good to go. She has two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven beautiful eggs. I tell you, glue season is still crushing. I think that's clutch number 60 for the year. Everyone says that I don't show bugs nearly enough attention on the vlog, and I couldn't agree more because I do love them. I become a guy that just loves tarantulas. This happens to be a Brazilian black, which is a Gramostola pulchra, and it just is such a beautiful animal he just jet black and used to be a little bit jumpy to be honest with you but we've handled it a ton over the last six months or so and it's really calmed down i mean just look at how beautiful that is and there's no doubt that i need to get more bugs in the vlog because they're really cool let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more bugs and what bugs you want us to see we have a pretty cool assortment here but we definitely need to get more And when we do the expansion definitely going to add some more bugs because uh kids love them and i love them too always admiring these little baby snakes i mean these are really little living art, isn't it? I mean, every animal looks different. Every mutation is incredible. This is what they would call a coral ghost, which is basically that coral snow, that's, you know, that high pink snow corn snake. But this is in 
in the ghost version. And the ghost is actually a hypo and an aneurysmic. And again, it's the same thing. It's just that high pink and unbelievable color. This thing is going to be an absolute ripper when it gets bigger. But I just have to show you guys now because it is going to be amazing. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, do me a favor right over here. If you enjoy egg cutting, an entire playlist of egg cutting. That's right. On this side, do me a huge favor and hit that subscription button. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.